What's good YouTube? This is Whiteboy503 coming at you with another PSP tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be a, the SE plugin that I promised you guys in my last video that I would make. Uh, I think the one of the most common ones that I was getting requested by by friends and stuff like that was uh, this one right here. The categories light, as you guys have seen in my other videos, if you've watched my other videos, and if you haven't, you should go watch them. Um, but besides that, uh, is the categories light. It's basically where you can categorize your games, emulators, homebrew, all that kind of crap. So you download this file right here. Simple, easy. Right click, extract to the folder. And right here, you should have that right there. Category underscore light dot PRX. Okay. To explain this right here, I have no clue why the hell my computer has that. It decided it was going to choose that for the icon. Yeah, I know it says Windows Media uh, Media Profile. Don't listen to that. It doesn't matter. Just listen. Make sure it has PRX at at the end of it. If it has a if it has a PRX, fine. So what you need to do now is you need to come down to your PSP, connect via USB mode. Pull up your PSP. And if you do not have a SC plugins folder, you will need to make one. And then just right click, file, new, folder, and name it SE plugins. You open that folder. And I've got a bunch of crap like this. I got a PRX shot, XMB control. Battery worn, boost, day viewer. I honestly don't know what the hell that is. Can't remember. Uh, hold PRX. I got a bunch of stuff, and I will eventually be making tutorials on all of these kind of crap. Kind of don't want to do this one because it's a pain in the ass. But I'll do it anyway. Not today, though. Alright, so. Sorry about that. Um, so, what do you want to do? You want to drag and drop this into the SC plugins folder. If you do not already, if you do not already have one of these right here, VHS, v, VHS, VSH dot text text document. If you do not have one, just right click, go new, go to text document, and name it that right there. You don't have to put the dot uh, txt. It'll put that on its own uh, but make sure it says VSH okay so once you're done with that you want to open this up and if you have I see plugins already in your folder already in your uh, to, uh, VSH folder kind of look like this but if not you start right up here what you want to do oh and I will say this, it will work on all PSPs. 1000, 2000, 3000, and the Go. Not the Vita, as far as I'm concerned. The uh, hackers, I won't say the names or anything, uh, but they are working on it. And believe me, uh, well, I'll just say today is uh, the 19th of April, 2012. I'm betting at least 20 bucks they're going to have custom firmware for it before November but that's besides the point so uh, if you have just a 1000 2000 or 3000 series what you want to do is you want to put M S O or zero make sure it says zero not a no not this make it a zero and a colon forward slash SE plugins slash and then if you're really lazy and you don't really want to go having to type all that out just right click on this go down to rename right click on this and copy it and just come down here and uh, click you can either click control V or you can just right click and paste or whatever whichever suits you 
And as you notice, there's like a lot of number, well, there's not a lot, but there's one number after each one of these uh, uh, SC plugins, the PRXs. And that basically means, um, if you didn't know, uh, computers only can add ones and zeros. I don't know. Doesn't really make that much sense to me, but that's what I learned. Um, so basically, if it has a zero, it's not enabled. It will no, not show up on your VSH. If it has a one, it will. So, add one. And you want to come up here and make make sure you save it. So if you don't, it's kind of pointless to doing this. All right, so you can exit out of this. You can back out of this, and you could. Let's just start in the ISO folder. So I, of course, I took this out before. I mean, I took all the uh, the uh, game categories light off my PSP. That way, I could show you guys how to do it and everything like that. So uh, what you want to do is, if you want to categorize, because see these four right here are all like uh, PSP minis so we right click folder and I'll just put minis bam just like that just want to cop highlight all those drag and drop them into there and then I have echo chrome I have no clue why the hell I have this on my PSP I played it for like a day got confused and decided to stop so I will name this weird. You can name it whatever the hell you want. Does not matter. It will pop up either way. So bam, your ISO folder, which is your ISOs and CSOs and all that kind of crap, is categorized. That easy. So say you want to categorize your emulators and your PSXs, which is a uh, PlayStation games like I don't know freaking. Uh, Final Fantasy, for instance. Uh, so, see, I got the uh, SNES 9X Euphoria, and this one right here, that RINV 3.2, uh, which is the uh, Game Boy Color. So, you just right click on this, go to Folder, and Emulate. I spelled that right. Emulators. I think. I'm sorry, people who are watching this. I, I suck at spelling. So you just drag and drop that into there. And as you can see right here, I am a Final Fantasy player. Now, I will be doing, a, might as well mention this now, but I will be doing a, a, like a, top, a couple top 10 videos pretty soon. I'll do like a top 10, like, PSP games, uh, PS1 games, and all that kind of crap. I don't know, maybe top 10, I might do like top 10 Final Fantasy characters. I don't know yet. Haven't really decided. So, but just if you're interested, uh, they will be coming soon. I don't, have, don't know really when. I'm kind of busy sometimes. So, for this one, I'm just going to put uh, make a new folder and just type fantasy. And then you just drag the Final Fantasy into your fantasy folder. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. So you come down here to your PSP, exit out of the USB mode, come over here, okay. What you need to do is reset the SH. Oh, and by uh, if you don't know, getting to the uh, VSH, VSH menu, uh, you just click the select button and it'll pull up this. Depending on which firmware you're on, if you're on Pro, uh, Emmy, or God, or whatever, it'll say something different right there. But basically, what you want to do is just come down here. You can access your recovery menu. For those of you who had like, who have or have had hacked PSPs for like that was like the 5.00 ME uh, M33 uh, it's a lot harder to get in the recovery menu than it is nowadays you just gotta click the button and that's it 
So reset your uh, VA VSH. It'll reboot in a second. Go down here, click that, and bam. See? It's got the fantasy folder, which. Okay, apparently I put that in there. I don't know. Uh, and then it has the emulators in it, has the Echo Crown. The hell's my own categorizer? What the hell? Okay, well apparently my Final Fantasy I deleted. That sucks. But uh Alright, so that's basically it. If you got any questions, feel free to put them in the comment box and uh I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh so rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh Check out my other videos. I have uh, three videos on uh, putting emulators on it. I have one of how to put uh, 6.60 Pro B10 on your PSP device. And I will be doing uh, one for Emmy and I will be doing another 6.60 for God. Six, I think. I think that's what it is, so... I will be doing more videos on different kind of firmwares and stuff like that. I mean, the only reason I did this one is because it's the one I use, I guess. Um, so, yeah. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Tell people about my channel. That way, more people will watch. All that kind of fun stuff. Alright. Peace.